In this tutorial, I'm going to show you what the Elementor Pro share button widget does, all of its settings, what it looks like, and some cool demos of what you can do with it. And we're getting started right now. Hey, what is going on? My name is Bjorn. If you like WordPress tips and tricks and always getting better at it, make sure you click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And this video is part of the Elementor Pro playlist in this channel link in the description down below or part of the comments down below. Make sure you check out the whole playlist to see all the widgets in action. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you get on the Elementor Pro Ultimate Course waitlist, which I'm building right now. I'm still in the process of building it. It's not completed yet. Getting on the waitlist is no obligation. But if you do like Elementor and you wanna know how to do everything with it, get on that waitlist. Link in the description down below. And with that out of the way, let's hit in the screen capture. I'll see you there. And next we're gonna do the share buttons. So I'm gonna copy this headline paste it down below, call this share button element, click on the grid, find the share button element, drag and drop it in there and we have our predefined share buttons, which right now are ready to go. You don't have to change anything if you don't want to because these are designed to share the page so you don't have to enter your own Facebook URL or Twitter or Google Plus or LinkedIn. You can just add these if you want these four, boom, done. Simple as that. If you do want to change them, for example, Google Plus, not sure who uses that anymore, we have all these different options built in. And what's funny is YouTube is not one of them. You can't really share to YouTube. I guess that's why. Let's put Pinterest on there. You can add a custom label if you want. So you could call this Pin It and Tweet It. link it and book face it there look at that custom labels now you can set how you want the appearance to be so you can have icons and text icon being the little logo and the text being the text you can have just icons just text I like that both I like to show the label if we turn that off label goes away which is very similar to just icon sorry just icon. So I'm not sure what the differentiation is, but you have two different ways to have just the icon. You can add the count, which is the share count. To display this, you have to have a Dawn Reach API. And you add that in the integrations panel. So if you go to Elementor out here, Elementor settings, then integrations, we have our Dawn Reach right here. You have to have an account with them, obviously. You enter their API key and API host, which you get when you have the account. And then that will add in share count for all these. Although tweet it appears to have a zero share count, so maybe they'll integrate with Twitter. I'm not sure. But either way, there's no number there right now. I'm not going to show count because I don't have a Don Reach account. For the skin, you can choose gradient, which is this. You can't really see it on Facebook, Pinterest, or Anybody, you can see it on, on tw uh, Twitter a little bit. Looks, there's a darker blue on the left than the right. The other ones are all pretty, pretty flat. But you can have it be minimal, which looks like this. Framed. Boxed icon. I kind of like that one. And flat. I kind of like the boxed icon. Actually, no, I like the gradient. It stands out. You want these things to stand out so people actually click them. You can choose the square shape, have it be rounded or have it be, it's called a circle here, but in this case, when you have the labels, it's not a circle, it's a pill shape. Get rid of the labels, now you have circles. I'm gonna keep mine a square. Number of columns, you can have it be in two columns. It stretches all the way across. You can have one per column, or sorry, one per row. If you have four per row, it's like this. They should really change this, this label to number per row or icons per row instead of having a color columns. I guess columns make sense too. Anyway, you can change that to whatever way you see fit and it stretches them right across the area. The target page, you can have them share this page or if you're doing something like a product launch and it's on a launch video, you probably want them to share the opt-in page for that. So you have custom and you can have these icons on a launch video page and then share the opt-in page. So when someone clicks share, it doesn't give a link to the actual launch video page, it gives a link to the opt-in page. 
There's a bunch of other use cases why you want to have a different target URL. And that's how you set it. Under style, we can have more gap between the columns or no gap at all. I like to have a little bit of a gap at least. Gap between rows, if we have multiple rows. The button size, small to big. I think the default was pretty good. Back to that. Icon size, small to big as well. Back That back to default, because that was pretty good. The button height, it's the height of the button. Again, I thought default was pretty good. For the colors, you can have the official colors or custom colors. If you choose custom, you can now choose colors that are applied to all of them. If we go back here, and oh, it didn't add an extra option. So if you choose custom color, it's going to be the same color applied to all of them. I'm going to stick with the official color because people know those colors for those brands. Change the typography here. Let's make it open sans. Looks like it already was open sans. But there we have our share buttons, and that's really all you do with them. One cool thing you can do with Elementor Pro is you can create a template of a footer, a footer template, and you can have these guys stuck to the bottom of the footer. We can actually do it on this page. So if we have, click on the six dots, go to advanced, go to scrolling effect. Is it scrolling effect? Yeah, sticky. Put them on the bottom on every device. So now if we go and view this page, we're going to have those social media icons follow us on the page. You see that they're already at the bottom down here and they follow us down the page. So that way people can share all the time. And then when they get to their position, the reason I said in the footer is if we have more content down below, let's just copy this and paste it down there. Preview again. If we have more content down below, they will stay at the position where you added them to the page. So if we scroll all the way down, they stay in their position. They don't follow down further past their position. That's why I said having a footer template in Elementor, Elementor Pro only, have a footer template, then those guys will go right down to the very bottom of the page and they'll just stay there. Or you could have a blog post template and have these follow you down the blog post until the bottom of the blog post where they stay, then the comments are below that and these guys will just stay at the bottom of the blog post. A lot of different use cases for those cool share buttons, but that sticky feature is a pro feature only. Very, very useful. And that is the social share buttons. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe, then the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. And also consider buying Elementor through the affiliate link down below. It doesn't cost you any more to purchase it that way, but Elementor does send me a few dollars commission, which helps me keep these glorious lights on. And if you do purchase through there, thank you very much. And next up was clicking one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can get even better at WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.